Hi, I'm Miles Huck, EY's Global Power and Utilities Transaction Advisory Services Leader. In the second quarter of 2018, deal value in the global power and utilities sector hit $83 billion, which helped propel total deal value for the first half of the year to an all-time high of $180 billion. We're seeing a complex deal environment with different themes driving transactions in different regions. In the Americas, the U.S. dominated investments. Consolidation of integrated utilities drove M&A here, and we're also seeing the impact of federal tax reform beginning to be felt. The revenue implication of this reform, which requires utilities to return billions to ratepayers nationwide, are subject to considerable attention at both federal and state levels. In the water segment, we're seeing the continued shrinkage of the investor-owned water utility market and increased hostility given the scarcity of deal opportunities. Within renewables, despite a less favorable climate at the federal level, state policymakers are pushing forward with aggressive renewable targets. This will present challenges for the current regulatory framework. In the rest of the Americas, Canada has had a subdued start to 2018. While Latin America's mature renewable environment and massive growth prospects are attracting investment from large multinationals. In South America, Brazil is set to attract huge investment over the next few years, including a planned $38 billion from State Grape Corporation of China. In Europe, we're seeing a rebound of deal activity. Chinese investors are making more investments into the region. China Three Georges announced takeover of EDP was the biggest deal across all regions this quarter. In the Asia-Pac region, deal volume almost doubled this quarter compared to last. Again, China contributed most outbound investments. We're anticipating this continuing in line with the country's Belt and Road Initiative. Across Africa and the Middle East, energy markets are transforming and renewables are at the heart of this change. In Africa, investment is increasing in off-grid solar systems to bring power to remote communities. In the Middle East, governments are moving away from fossil fuel and ramping up clean energy targets. This is increasing opportunities for investment in renewables, particularly in solar.